Chapter 10, Analytics and Tools. Conducting your SEO work takes a significant amount of effort and work. As you've already witnessed in this book, there is an exhaustive and comprehensive set of rules, principles, methods, and techniques behind building trust and relevancy. The only way that you can ensure that your time and your efforts aren't wasted is to enable a system for tracking and analyzing your SEO-related efforts. Of course, Excel spreadsheets are an excellent way to stay organized for your on-page and off-page work, but it doesn't end there. We must track and analyze not only the website's traffic, but also our position on the SERPs. Of course, you could opt for a slew of over-the-counter software provided by non-Google parties, but today it's simply not necessary. Today, what you need are two primary tools that you need to help track your SEO efforts. One, Google Analytics. Two, Google Webmaster Tools. You could also opt for the Google Tag Manager, but it's not an absolute necessity. For the time being, I would recommend setting up an account with both services if you haven't already done so. The Analytics Suite by Google is phenomenal and will provide you with a wide range of data. Analytics will allow you to assess not only the success of your SEO work away from the site, but also your work on the site. You can determine things like the average time spent on a page by visitors, the bounce rate, the exit rate, landing pages, and so on. When you correlate this type of data across your site, you can get a clear indication whether or not people are finding your site, sticking around if your content is actually good, or even making successful conversions by filling out a form or completing a purchase. Google's Webmaster Tools are also excellent because it gives you an avenue for determining which keywords are most often being used to find your site. Unfortunately, you can no longer do this very much through Google Analytics, since they've now made an almost complete transition to secured search. Secured search, as you might already know, is Google's effort to ensure that all searches across all of its platforms are encrypted. For this reason, as time has gone on, Google Analytics has no longer displayed relevant keyword data for visitors arriving organically to your site. In its place, Google Analytics now displays things like not set rather than an actual keyword. As you can imagine, this makes tracking and analyzing your SEO efforts much more difficult. That's where Google's Webmaster Tools come into play. Webmaster Tools allow you to regain some of that insight into the keyword searches being performed by people arriving to your site. Although it's not 100% complete, Google is attempting to provide more transparency in this as time goes on. Additionally, Webmaster Tools will tell you the number of times you appeared in search, along with your SERP positioning for each keyword you were found relevant for. This information is helpful, to say the least, since it provides a scorecard of sorts that you can analyze over time. What's important is to ensure that you have some system in place for tracking and analyzing your work. You'll also want to watch your trends over time, so you should record your data in some way. This doesn't have to take up enormous amounts of time, but time spent here will pay off. Why record and track? Well, there's no better way to gauge your results. How are people finding your site? How much time are they spending there? What keywords are they using? You can find some of this data in historical format when using Webmaster Tools, but you should track what you can on a spreadsheet.